morning. It's Wednesday morning. It is later in the day. I had to edit yesterday's video this morning or late morning because I wasn't feeling too great last night. So I just wanted to go to bed. Evie's been sick. My husband was sick. So I just kind of have like the sore throat starting to get like congested. I don't know. Just I needed to sleep. So I did that. Um, so this morning we had breakfast and I edited a video. Evie is playing super cute. She took the little Fisher Price schoolhouse that I have and she's been playing school in there. So that's been adorable. But now we're going to do some real school, some pre-K. So I have everything laid out here. So we're going to do our calendar like we, um, you know, we try to do. And then I just layered um, books that I would like to get to. <laughs> Lara, what are you doing? She's rubbing her, her face in my shoulder. So just in order of, I guess, um, importance or, you know, priority, we're going to do our Bible stories first. Oh, gosh. And then we're going to go through our habitats and we're going to do the rainforest. And so I got this book about jungle life that we're going to uh, put with that. And then I got this book somewhere, a thrift store maybe, kindergarten count to 100. We're going to go through that. And if we have time, we'll go and do a couple activities in this um, little activity alphabet book. So that's what we're going to do now. What is this senses? That's not senses. This is about counting to 100. Is that a big number? Yeah. Yeah. How high can you count? You can count to 30. I know that because you can do your calendar. So first things first, though, I need to feed this one, and hopefully she will fall asleep. Okay, so we're learning about rainforests and jungles, and we're zoning in on the sloth. So I have a video here on my phone from Nat Geo about a little baby sloth, um, like, rescue center. So we're just going to watch this real quick. It's just a couple minutes. So we're going through the Jungle Life book, and we already saw a sloth, which was in the book we just read, the Habitat book, and a spider monkey. So this is a good one. I'm glad I picked this up. This book is really cute. It's not even just, I mean, it is counting, but there's a lot of other little things sort of tucked in here. So they're talking about saluting the flag, and then there's a little bit about a calendar. So Evie just ran to get her um, her American flag, and <laughs> we're going to do the, the American salute to the flag. Okay, and put your hand on your heart. Other hand. Put this in this hand, and put that hand on your heart. Say, I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance. to the flag. The of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. At 69, 70, 71, 72. Okay, so we got everything done that we wanted to. Evie counted to 100, which is pretty exciting. You big girl. Did you count to 100? Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Lara's awake. So it's 12.30. We're going to, I think I'm going to pack a little picnic lunch and head to... A park that is a new one. I like just discovered it driving home. I took like a different way home than I usually do and it's really close to our house and it's cute and private and I don't know how I never knew it was there but it's there. So we're gonna go to the park for a little bit. I want to also try to go back to that diaper place that we tried to go to and it was closed. Hey right, we're here. Cute park huh? And there's like a basketball over there and it's all nice and shaded. Leaving the park now, we had a good time. Evie enjoyed playing. We were the only ones there though, so she didn't really have anyone to play with. So we're just heading out to go to that diaper place. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work out. Lara hopefully is gonna take a nap. And um, I actually just got a, a message from the person that was selling those cabinets that I was really hoping that they would find in their warehouse. And they said, oh, we still can't find them. So I said, should I, you know, is there any chance you might find them or should I just, you know, move on? And they said, you should move on. So now the search will start to find some, something pre-made that I can get. All right, we made it to the diaper place. They're open. They don't sell diapers anymore. <laughs> oh, goodness. They said they have uh, wipes, but he showed me like a little container of them and I don't know. I guess I'm a little pickier about my wipes than I am about my diapers. So I didn't even bother to ask like how much the wipes were or anything like that. So, oh well, <laughs> we didn't get diapers or wipes or anything. Uh, but it's about 2.45. We're gonna just head in the direction of home. Don't really have anywhere to like go or stop, but I feel like I'm out. Maybe I should stop somewhere. Cause you know, you never wanna go home and then like decide you wanna do something and going back out. So we're at the thrift store now, just checking out the deals. I already found these 
crew cuts, leather suede shoes. There's no deal today, but they're only $6.99, so I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, this seems to be the day for shoes. I just found these brand new leather moccasins for $3.50. Like, they still have a sticker on them, and they still smell like fresh new leather. Are you excited about those? Are you excited? New shoes. So I really wish today was the 25% off day because I'm finding so many awesome things. I mean, I know 25% is not like a huge amount, but definitely would have helped because I'm finding a lot of stuff and I'm having trouble paring it down and only getting things. But like with pre-K stuff, I feel like I can just use so many things. I need to really be cautious of like only getting it if I can use it now, not trying to save it for like older grades because it's so hard. Okay, so it's six o'clock, we're back home. I'm just making dinner real quick. I was gonna do something else, but I got home and Dan was already home. So I had to make something really quick. He never gets home that early. And by early, I mean like on time. So I thought I had more time than I did, but I didn't. So I just did a quick, quick dinner. I just cooked up some ground beef with some of the leftover sausage that Mommy, we had. can I get some on for my cane shoes on? Go ahead, right here. Or just put your Crocs on. Um, I've used some leftover sausage and peppers that we had from the other night. Put that in there with some sauce and that's just simmering. My water's boiling. I'm going to throw my pasta in and that's going to be a quick dinner. We have someone, now fingers crossed, supposedly coming to pick up something from Craigslist tonight. And they're coming at 7.30 at 6 now. They're going to buy our old uh, vanity. So that means that we have to turn off the water in the house, take out the old vanity, and put the new vanity in so we can use it for tomorrow. But that center drain thing that I said, oh no, I didn't pick it up, yeah, we need that so that we can actually hook up the new vanity. So I might possibly be running out to Home Depot or Dan, I don't know, um, but I'm trying to get pasta right now. So let's get, let's get dinner done. So while dinner's cooking, let me show you what else I got at the thrift store. One thing I got is this operation game, which uh, Evie is, has been playing. All the little pieces are there on the floor. She's been practicing. That's Lara. Um, because a bunch of you guys, thank you, commented um, on a video where I was talking about Evie's uh, writing her name and practicing her handwriting skills. And a lot of you said for her to practice um, like her pincer grasp. Pincher? Pincer? Um, basically using like tweezers is a really good practice to strengthen her hand muscles. So thank you. So I picked up Operation. I knew that was a good one. And then I saw this game. That was, I think, $1.99. And this was also $1.99, this bed bugs game. And it's basically the same kind of concept where you have all these little bed bugs and you need to use tweezers to pick them out of the bed, which is a gross concept, I know. And then I also picked up this game. It was only 99 cents. And it's animal families and their homes. And it seems to have all the pieces. They're all punched out but it seems like they're all here for the most part, but it'll show like different places where an animal could live, like a pen or, um, I don't know, like all different kinds of things in the rivers and swamps. And it has little cards that talk about the different animals. And then it has um, also like, um, like animal parents and then the babies. For 99 cents, you couldn't beat that. I mean, I do wish it was 75 cents. I wish I had gone on the 25% off day. They actually have, if you sign up to be like part of their VIP membership or something, you get 25% off on Thursdays also, which I really should do because I go there all the time. Um, so I definitely am gonna do that. It's like an app that you download. So I, but I couldn't wait and go tomorrow. I wanted to get these things today because I don't want to risk them not being there. But I got this book also for 99 cents, If I Ran the Rainforest, a Dr. Seuss book. Well, I guess it's not really Dr. Seuss. It's like a newer one. But I thought this was a perfect spin-off of what we've been learning today about the rainforest. So I got that one. This Goodnight Gorilla, which I've had my eye on to try to find, but for some reason it was always expensive. And by expensive, I mean like, 250 350 which I just don't want to pay but 69 cents definitely I'll pay that and um that blog that I like simply learning kids has a whole unit on just the book goodnight gorilla so I definitely want to go through that because it's adorable um and lastly I got this well not lastly but last of this pile this clearly social studies book uh, which is like a workbook. It's $1.50. This is for grade one, so we'll probably not use this just yet. 
but for $1.50, I didn't want to pass it up considering here it's initially $15.99. So it has really cute things about like your community and transportation, world maps, Christopher Columbus. This will be a really great thing to have on hand, I think. All about America. But then in the back, there's these like um, wipeable pages, these transparency pages. I don't think I have Christmas pajamas for Lara. Um, if I do, I'm not sure if they're necessarily gonna fit her. So I saw this, a 12 month onesie for $1.99. She is a chunker. So I think at Christmas time, she'll be nine months. So I figured I'll size up and hopefully this will be a good one for Christmas time. And then for Evie, just a simple pair of black leggings, just like some house pants, I guess you could call them. They were $2.99, but they're from uh, Children's Place and they seem to be in really good shape. They're a size 4T and um, I thought that was a good thing to have on hand because she is tall, let me tell you. All her 3T pants, well, it depends on the brand, but a lot of her 3T pants are like skin tight and a little bit short. So I like to size up in that because they're bending and they're moving, I feel like better. A bigger size is always better. One more thing that I found was this vintage abacus. And literally right before I found this one, I was looking at one like a couple shelves down that was like a brightly colored one. And the wood was like a new wood. And I was like, yeah, like I, I like abacuses. I think it's really cute to decorate with, but you can also use it for practical counting purposes. Um, but it was like really new looking and I was like, mm, nah. So I passed on it and literally a couple shelves down, I found this one in perfect sort of like muted vintage colors and it was only 99 cents. And then last but most certainly not least, I found the perfect piece of artwork for our bathroom. I have been waiting to find something for our bathroom or like coming up with an idea of something I wanted. So literally, if I could have picked anything I wanted for this bathroom, this was it and I found it for $1.99. So it's quite impossible to show you in our bathroom because it's so tiny, but this is the art that I found. I love it so much. It's like vintage botanical prints and the matting of it is like almost the same exact color as our wall. I love the gold frame. You guys know I've been into gold frames lately. I just think it's so classic and beautiful. Have I mentioned how much I love thrifting and how much you should go thrifting if you have never been? I literally went to the store with no expectations whatsoever and found like some of the most beautiful things that I had been wanting. I just, I love it so much. All right, dinner is ready. Just quick, easy pasta. It's 6.30. So we're just gonna have dinner now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching as always. I love all your comments. I love that you guys are watching and enjoying Vlogtober. Makes me all the more excited to do these videos and of course I love to have them to look back on and seeing the girls at this age is just so precious. If you are enjoying these videos, definitely give them a thumbs up. That really helps me and lets me know that you guys are watching and enjoying. So thanks so much for watching again and I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Bye. We sold the vanity. Yes, I'm $25 richer. And Dan yeah. just ran out to go to Home Depot to get the drain for the new vanity. So hopefully we can get that installed tonight. And um, also he needs to do brakes on a friend's car. So he's gonna have a busy night. I feel bad. I told him, you don't have to do the vanity, it's okay. Like we just won't use the sink in the bathroom. He's like, no, nah, it's all right. He's like, I'm already doing stuff. Let me just finish it. So gotta love, gotta love a handy guy.